everyone, it's Haley, and today I'm here with a super exciting video. I've been waiting an entire year to be able to show you guys all of this stuff, and now I can finally do it. So this video is sponsored by HarperCollins because last year they sent me to the set of the movie adaptation for Dumplin' by Julie Murphy. So if you didn't know, this wonderful body positive book is coming out as a movie on December 7th on Netflix, and I am so excited to see it. I did film a scene as an extra when I was on the set, so that's kind of what this vlog is. It's my day in the life as an extra but unfortunately my scene got cut which is part of being an extra but it was still such an amazing and weird experience because it was something that I didn't even know would ever be on my bucket list and now I can check it off so that's good but also while I was on set I was able to interview the author of this book Julie Murphy and she was so sweet I loved doing that interview just everything about the experience was awesome I really can't wait to see how the adaptation is going to turn out because it was so amazing to see them actually filming it and all of that stuff and everyone I spoke with was so passionate about the project so I just know it is going to be amazing so that's what I'm going to be doing on December 7th is watching this movie the second it is released but now without further ado please enjoy my day in the life as an extra Ooh, so I am here at the Dumplin set I can't really show you a lot but I'm very excited kind of brought my book with me but I'm gonna do some exciting things here and it is going to be amazing I wish like you guys could see this because it is awesome like it's really cool it is like the book comes to life, so it's amazing, and I can't wait for you guys to see it. Canadian gun Texas, which is going to be great, but this is crazy cool. It's amazing. Ah. And this is Alessandra, who has been amazing this whole weekend. <laughs> she is actually Julie Murphy's editor. She's great. <laughs> Julie Murphy is getting her makeup done. How does it feel? Feels <laughs> very intrusive. Excellent. <laughs> well, it looks beautiful. <laughs> Hello, everyone. So I'm here today with Julie Murphy, who is the lovely author of Dumplin, as well as other books. But today we're going to be talking about Dumplin because it is being turned into a movie, and today we are on set, which is why I'm wearing this lovely Dolly Parton t-shirt, <laughs> and I've got my Texas hair yeah. here, which That's is super, Texas yeah, yeah, which is super exciting. So we are here on set, which is amazing, and I think it's going to be a great movie. But I'm going to be asking Julie Murphy some questions today. So how does it feel that your book is being turned into a movie? Well, it's surreal. It's not anything I ever expected to happen. Um, I think that ugh, I call this book sort of like the little fat girl book that could. Um, it's sort of, it's been surprising me at every turn, whether it was like success from the book when it first released, or the fact that the film rights were purchased, or every time it sells in another country, it's just kind of a big surprise because growing up I didn't have stories like this. So just the idea that people are connecting me with it in such a big way that they're wanting to turn it into a film for like mass consumption, that is wild. <laughs> yeah, it, I can only imagine how crazy yeah. that would be. <laughs> now you talk about people connecting with the story. Mm -hmm. What's your hope with this story being told? Like how do you think yeah. that it will help other people who may identify with the character of Willa Dean? You know, I think the great thing about movies is that you're widening your audience and for us publishing is our world, right? Like books are our world mm -hmm. and that feels so big but in reality it's so so small so I think that the idea that this book is going to be turned into a movie is only going to broaden the audience and only going to broaden 
who Willadine gets to connect with. Well, I mean, now Willadine is going to get to connect with the kid who isn't a reader and who doesn't care about going to the library or like isn't too bothered with that. And I think that those people need stories like that just as much as readers do. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. So I know there were some adversities kind of getting this to film. Mm -hmm. So what does it mean to you that it's finally here and yeah. it's actually happening? Well, you know, the people, like the producers and the screenwriter and the director, Anne Fletcher, all these people behind it are really the driving force of this. And I don't think I ever really believed it until that first day when they called me and they said, we've officially started filming. Wow. So it's been, I mean, I like still even now, I think like it only became real to me when I like came on set and I met all the actors. And I was yeah. like, oh, you guys are really here. Like, this isn't like a joke. Like, this isn't some prank everyone's playing on me, yeah. so. Who has been the most exciting person that you've had the opportunity to meet? You know, I mean, uh, like, a lot of people would totally be excited to meet Jennifer Aniston. Yeah. <laughs> and I was totally excited to meet yeah, Jennifer Aniston. Sure. Um, but I am such, like, a, I'm such a, a drag queen junkie mm -hmm. that meeting Ginger Minj was, like, <laughs> huge. It was, like, life-defining. Um, the other person who I was really excited to meet was Kathy Najee who's playing Billy's mom, mm -hmm. and Kathy is, um, like a lot of people know her from Sister Act, or one of the Sanderson, mm -hmm. Sanderson sisters from Hocus Pocus. And for me, those movies when I was a kid was monumental. Mm -hmm. And especially at that time, because Kathy wasn't a small woman, especially in those movies, mm -hmm. I remember identifying at a very young age and being like, hey, that's a pale chubby lady. <laughs> I look like that. Yes. So Kathy, meeting Kathy was really cool. Awesome. Now, if you could tell people like one thing that they should expect from this movie, mm -hmm. what would it be? I think they would say you should expect to have fun. Yeah. I, I, I've had so much fun watching everything play out in the last couple days I've been here. Mm -hmm. um, just like all these great drag queen scenes we did and just the way that all the cast are connecting with each other and the chemistry they have on and off camera. It's crazy. I mean, I was just talking to one of the producers and she was saying that all the cast members were emailing about their travel arrangements and asking to sit with each other on the plane. And like, oh, awesome. like they've really bonded in a really authentic way. So yeah. I think that, you know, Awesome. We're gonna have a fun time. Yeah. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> so going through this experience with this book, mm -hmm. would you ever want it to happen with other books that you have written? Or any I, future I mean, novels it, you plan to write? So far it's been such a positive experience. Yes. Um, but I know that I'm lucky in that regard. I know that for a lot of authors, it's not always the same. Yeah. Um, a lot of authors have a really difficult time sometimes with getting their movies made. So I know that I'm really fortunate, really lucky, and <laughs> really in the minority in this yeah. sense. Um, so I say yes, but I also know that I'm really spoiled working with the people I've been given the opportunity to work with. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for sitting with me today. I can't wait to see this movie, and I know you guys are going <laughs> to love it too. It's honestly, it looks like it's just come to life. It's super cool. So thank you very much. Thank I'm super you. excited for thank you. you. Thanks. So I am in the makeup chair right now. I just interviewed Julie Murphy, which was amazing. She is such a sweet person. And I mean, obviously, because the only person who could possibly write a book that is this great and touching is someone who is amazing. But I'm getting my makeup done. And Latoya here has done makeup for Oprah which is crazy, so the fact that she's doing my makeup is ridiculous. Also, the fact that the room behind me used to be Jennifer Aniston's is crazy. So this is all very surreal, but I feel like I'm looking like a true Texan right now, which is great. <laughs>